Okay, in the lab 5 uh, part 2, I'm going to compare the algorithm support factor machines classification. So this is continuing from the previous uh, uh, activity. And uh, this is the part 1. Yeah? So uh, I save as part 2 support vector machine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to, to copy again this and then after that uh, I will remove uh, this and then uh, change with the support vector machine. Okay, and uh, this will go into this and uh, data on the left come to this training model and the second data go to the testing and then after that I'm going to compare the output the, with the uh, booster decision tree okay so this is a booster decision tree come to this and uh, this one come to this okay yeah and uh, for the support vector machines I'm going to configure following this uh, setting <coughs> so using the parameter range then 110 100 okay and then uh, <coughs> so uh, 0 0.00 0 0 0.001 okay so the 30 is not included yeah 30 is not included So uh, four zero four zero three zero two zero one zero uh zero point zero one is not included. Okay. Then uh, <coughs> uncheck uncheck one two three check. Uh, uncheck uncheck uh, one two three this one is normalized we uh, uncheck yeah? okay unit sphere also uncheck a low unknown is a check okay so that's the uh, setting let me just verify again yep Okay, after that, uh, we're going to compare again. Yeah, accuracy, recall, AUC, also the evaluate model. So the results should not be better than boosted decision tree. Anyway, let me save and then run. Okay, still running. Just wait a while. Done already. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, open. Okay. So you can see the left is a booster decision tree, and the right is the uh, support vector machine. Yeah. You can see that uh, very very low. Only just slightly higher from the naive uh, cache or 0 0.5 and then recall 0 0.4 accuracy also 0 0.5 yeah? and uh, AUC 0 0.6 the boosted is uh, 0 0.701 okay so this is not better so uh, for this uh, experiment the two class support factor machine is not recommended yeah? okay thanks for watching that's uh, to complete the part 2 of the Lab 5.